in terms of a couple of the buzzwords that are out there at the moment and protein is one of them. Mm. So mm. depending on you, if you want to build lean muscle mass or if you want to drop some body fat, eat more protein seems to be the, the, the constant messages out there with either of those goals. Is it overemphasized? Is the protein intake overemphasized or is it as important as these people make it out to be? I think if you want to maximize your body composition, if you want to get like, if you want to get shredded, if you want to get jacked, I think protein is a really important factor in that. The difference between um, consuming, say, a high protein diet and a low protein diet, like not, say for low protein, like not even eat, meeting the government, um, you know, the government rec recommendations for the average person versus say, which is like less than, you know, 0.8 grams per kilogram, at least in the United States, and I'm sure it's similar in Ireland, yeah. uh, versus, you know, for a bodybuilding person, which we often hear something like one gram per pound or like 2.2 grams per kilogram body weight. Uh, the difference between that is really large as far as your long-term outcomes are concerned. Now, in the short term, it's not going to be something you're necessarily going to see like huge differences in your body composition, but over time, as you train, uh, the benefits will compound and the difference between somebody who has a high protein intake and a low protein intake in terms of their lean mass, in terms of their uh, fat mass is going to be substantial. Now, I think the impact of protein on satiety and on weight loss is definitely overstated. So for example, again, this is like oatmeal is one of the best foods that you can eat as far as like um, having a lean or having a healthy body weight is concerned. So for sure, oatmeal is great. If you only eat oatmeal, though, are you going to have your optimal uh, lean body mass versus your fat mass? And I don't think you will. Uh, you're not going to um, significantly impact your overall body weight, but you won't maximize your body composition. So the way that I think about protein ultimately is it helps to maximize your body composition by increasing lean mass and reducing fat mass. So there's sort of a... a, a, a a body recomposition effect or a nutrient repartitioning effect towards lean mass and away from fat mass. Whereas other factors are much more important with respect to controlling your body weight and protein only has a really, a relatively small impact in that equation. That's how I think about protein. Mm 